Hi, in this video I will talk about projective transformation. Perspective projection. When you take a photo with your camera, 3D scene is projected to 2D camera sensor. This mapping is called perspective projection. Imagine there is a grid picture on a wall. Three photos of the picture are taken. These are the camera positions. Let's view the scene from top. This is top view of the camera's wall and picture. Angle of view for left camera and related photo. Angle of view for right camera and related photo. And this one is angle of view for middle camera and related photo. Three cameras, their positions and photos. As the word perspective implies, the resultant 2D image depends on the viewpoint of the camera. In perspective projection, a line in 3D world is projected as a line in 2D image. Lines parallel to camera sensor plane remain parallel in 2D image. But other lines are not parallel anymore. An object or part of an object in 3D world appears smaller as distance to camera increases. As a result, ratios of dimensions of an object change. Perspective projection preserves lines, but may not preserve angles and ratio of lengths over each line. So, viewpoint determines the observed geometry. What if we want to obtain the grid in the middle using left or right photo? In that case, we need to use projective transformation. Projective transformation. Projective transformation is used to convert one convex quadrilateral to another. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. Each interior angle of a convex quadrilateral is less than 180 degrees. So this shape is not a convex quadrilateral. Diagonals should be inside the convex quadrilateral. So this shape is not a convex quadrilateral.
projective transformation is from one perspective to another, and from one 2D plane to another 2D plane. Projective transformation preserves lines, but angles, lengths and ratio of lines over a line may change. Parallel lines may not be parallel after projective transformation. Homogeneous coordinates To obtain homogeneous coordinates from Cartesian coordinates, one more dimension is added. In homogeneous coordinates, a point and its scaled versions are same. They are the same point on different Z planes. If Z component is zero, then the point is at infinity. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, X and Y coordinates are divided by Z coordinate. Scaled versions of the same point in homogeneous coordinates correspond to same Cartesian coordinates. This is a fine transformation equation in Cartesian coordinates. One more dimension is added to input and output vectors. And B vector is moved inside transformation matrix or augmented to transformation matrix. And this is a fine transformation equation in homogeneous coordinates. Using this equation, a fine transformation is performed with single matrix vector multiplication. What if we change these two entries? Let's call them H0 and H1. And let A be identity matrix and B be zero vector. So we can inspect the effect of H vector. Note that Z prime is not one anymore because H vector is non zero. These are standard basis vectors for 3D space. This matrix is a linear transformation matrix in 3D. Then these two columns are the first and the second basis vectors of transformed vector space. And what H0 and H1 do is to change the orientation of those basis vectors. H0 moves tip of the first basis vector parallel to Z axis. H1 moves tip of the second basis vector parallel to Z axis. This is our input image in Cartesian coordinates. Image scale in this diagram is not relevant, just for illustration. D0 and D1 are image dimensions, width and height. Here D0 equals D1. When we move from Cartesian to homogeneous coordinates, 
2D image is moved to Z equals 1 plane in 3D. So 2D image is embedded in 3D. H0 and H1 shear 3D space parallel to Z axis. This is Z prime equation. As an example, let H0 be greater than 0, H1 be less than 0, and absolute value of H0 be greater than absolute value of H1. This is the result of 3D transformation. For corner 1, Z prime is greater than 1. For corner 2, Z prime is greater than 1. And for corner 3, Z prime is less than 1. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, X and Y coordinates are divided by Z coordinate. X coordinate of corner 1 is mapped to a smaller value because Z prime is greater than 1. X and Y coordinates of corner 2 are mapped to smaller values because Z prime is greater than 1. But y coordinate of corner 3 is mapped to a greater value because z prime is less than 1. And this is the projected image in Cartesian coordinates. This is original image. This is transformation equation. And this is transformed or warped image. Warped image is obtained shearing in 3D space parallel to Z axis and then mapping result back to 2D Cartesian coordinates. It looks as if the photo is taken from a different perspective. Combining this effect with A transformation matrix and B translation vector, different perspectives can be obtained. Projective transformation is controlled with 8 parameters. So projective transformation has 8 degrees of freedom. Computing transformation matrix. This is the projective transformation equation. Or we can write the output vector showing scaling coefficient. There are 8 unknown parameters in projective transformation matrix. And there is one unknown scaling coefficient w for each point. With four points, there are 8 plus 4, 12 unknowns. Each point provides three equations. Using four points, there are 12 equations for 12 unknowns. This is transformation equation for point P0. It consists of three linear equations. Variables are grouped on one side.
and these are three equations in matrix vector form for one point. With four points there are 12 equations. This system of linear equations can be solved using NumPy or another library. These are the unknown parameters. After computing solution, first 8 elements of the vector are kept. Scaling coefficients are discarded and one is appended. Nine element vector is reshaped as three by three matrix. And this is our projective transformation matrix. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, X prime and Y prime are divided by Z prime. Let this be our source image. And this one is destination image. These are four source points and corresponding four destination points. Remember that source and destination quadrilaterals should be convex. This is transformation matrix computed as described. And this is transformed image. Compare the grid pictures on destination and transformed images. For more details on image warping, you may refer to forward and backward image warping video on my channel. And that's all for this video. See you next time.